my channel. Today I'm doing a look for you guys that I have been wearing for the last few weeks and getting a ton of compliments on. Every time I wear it, somebody is complimenting something that I'm wearing on my face and it's all very, very simple. It's a really easy look. It takes 10 to 15 minutes every single morning because I am not a morning person, so I need something that's quick and to the point but still leaves me looking professional, most importantly. Um, I like to keep my makeup a little bit more neutral, not over the top so that it's not distracting to clients, but yeah, all the products, they all fit in my little makeup bag, and a lot of times I end up just doing this on the way into work in the car, quickly doing it while my husband is dropping me off in the morning, so it's a very, very easy look. So if you want to see how to achieve this look, definitely stay tuned, and I will see you guys in a minute. Bye! The last thing I want to be thinking about while I'm working at my desk is if my foundation looks cakey or creasy or oily or drying, so... I typically just stick with what I know and don't like to venture out too much for the day-to-day -day basis. So um, on most days I either use my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and I am in the color 2. And then if I'm not using this one then I'll use the MAC Studio Fix Fluid and I think this is just the lightest shade that you can get, it's NW10. So yeah, I like to stick with one of these. Um, today I'm going to stick with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. So let's get started on applying this foundation. So lately for my day-to-day -day use, my favorite brush has been this Morphe M439 brush. I just find that it easily blends everything out and it gives a really natural coverage. Um, it just blends everything flawlessly and it doesn't look too cakey. So in the mornings, I like to keep things very quick and simple, so I will just apply this on directly onto my face in little dots. It's not very professional, I know, but it's quick, it's simple, and I use about one pump to start with, and then I just go in and I quickly blend that out. I try to focus more on the places that really need the coverage, um, so those tend to be around my nose, my chin, and my eyelids. My eyelids are very, very purplish, so I like to get that extra coverage on there, or else I find that I look really, really tired throughout the day. And since it's summer, my freckles are very dark, so there's really not much hope trying to cover those up, so I just try to embrace them the best I can. So this foundation does give a very natural finish, which I really like, um, especially going to work. It's not distracting. It looks like my skin, but better. Kind of just evens things down a little bit. Next, I'm going to go in with my favorite concealer. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. And I've been using this for about a year now, and I love it. It's the best for coverage for me. And um, I'm in the color Fair, of course, and it actually matches. It's really hard for me to find a concealer that's going to give that highlighting effect when you're as pale as I am, but this one definitely does it. I love it a lot. So you have to work really quick with this stuff because I find if you don't, it'll look a little bit cakey. It's hard to blend out. So I actually just use my foundation brush to keep things nice and simple. I put it right under the eye and then I just use my foundation brush just to blend it out. And I like to bring that coverage onto my nose a little bit because my nose has a ton of freckles and then right now it's a little bit burned. So just to even out that skin tone. And like I said, I work in one spot at a time because it does dry very quickly. So it's best to just work through the face at a slower pace. And like I said, I need extra coverage on my eyelids because they're very, very translucent. So you can see all my veins and they look really purplish red. So I blend that concealer up there and then blend it down the cheek and on the nose a little bit, just for that extra coverage. And I like to use when I'm doing um, my concealer, more of a patting motion with this brush so that I'm not just blending it right away. I want it to stick there, so I just kind of pat it into the skin. Whereas with the foundation, I'm doing circular motions just to blend it out. So I always get a little bit red here, and if I do break out, um, it is typically on my chin, which I think is hormonal, but it's what it is. So I just put a little bit of extra coverage there and around the mouth because I got some redness here. 
I just want to make sure that this is nice and blended on the neck. I don't want to look like we're wearing a mask. <laughs> okay, and lastly, um, I like to put a little bit of this on my forehead just because I have really dark freckles right now, so it helps just even them out a little bit so they're not as distracting. Okay, so next up, we are going to go in with the Pure Minerals 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup. And this is one of my favorite powders. I find that it doesn't feel too heavy. You can see I actually hit pan, which isn't very common for me with makeup. I tend to get bored of it and switch to something else before I ever hit pan. And I'm actually, this concealer I'm running out of too, which is crazy to me because I always switch makeup. So I must really like these too. So I have the color porcelain in this powder and I like to go in with my e.l.f. Kabuki brush and I just get a good amount on that brush and then I just dab it where I need it. Um, I don't like to be too too heavy with this because I want my skin to still have a little bit of a glow but I want my makeup to stay in place and not feel too too sticky is my big issue. So, so I like to just do a really light coat all over the face just to help lock in that foundation. Next up, I'm going to go in and do my brows. I have been using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil and I really, really like it. I use the color number one um, and I find that it matches my really light brows perfectly and it's super easy to use and my favorite part is that it has a spoolie. I love when uh, brow products have spoolies so I don't have to carry an extra one with me because a lot of times, let's be honest, I'm doing this in the car while my husband's driving me to work. <laughs> quickly filling these in. There's no need to be super precise I find for the day to day but this brow pencil is amazing. It makes it really hard to make any mistakes and I really need to get my brows done so please do not be judging me right now. So next up I'm going to use one of my new favorite products for everyday use. It's so easy and it actually makes a really big difference in how my makeup comes out. Um, this is just one of the long lasting eyeshadows from e.l.f. and it reminds me a lot of ColourPop. It's that kind of spongy texture and I am using the color Toast. I really need to get more of these. You can see I've made a really big dent in this. <laughs> So this is just a really pretty gold color, but I find it's perfect for the office because it's not over the top, but it brightens up my eyes a little bit. So I'm just gonna apply this. I only apply it right on the lid, and I try to focus it only on the lid. And I, I just use my finger. Like, I don't need to get all fancy with this. So I just make sure that's nice and blended in the crease there. I'm just using dabbing motions to build up that gold a little bit. Okay, so next up we're just going to curl the lashes to prep them for mascara. So I'm using the Ico Black Magic Mascara. I really, really like this mascara. Um, I'm kind of weird with mascaras. I typically don't like ones that everyone else likes and people don't like the ones that I like. So. Take this with what it is and know that I love it, so maybe you will love it too. I'm trying really, really hard not to give ugly mascara face right now because it's, I think, even worse for me to watch while I'm editing as it is for you guys to see. <laughs> but I like big, bold lashes. Like, if I could get away with it, I would literally wear lashes to work every day. But. I can't wake up in the morning, so I never have time to do that, and I think my coworkers would think I was a little bit crazy, but I mean, whatever. I'm an outcast already, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so now that we're all done with the eyes, I'm going to go in and work on the cheeks, and I'm going to start off using the Tarte Amazonian 12-hour blush in the color Exposed. I really like this color with my fair skin. I feel like it's not over the top, and it's very, very wearable, so let's go in with that. I'm gonna use this mystery Morphe brush. I got this from as a gift from a friend um, from one of the travel sets. So I don't know if they just don't have numbers or what, but it is just an angled brush, which I really like for applying blush. Now 
Now I'm gonna go in with one of my all-time favorite products that I've been using for years. It is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Soft and Gentle, and I'm sure that you guys are all very aware of this. It is a very, very popular item from MAC, and I use this as a highlighter. It also gives a little bit of a bronze look on my face, so that's always nice. So to apply this, I'm just using a small contouring brush from Luxie. It's the 512 brush. And I am just going to put a little bit of that on the cheeks. And this has a gold finish, which I think goes really, really nice with that e.l.f. eyeshadow. It just kind of ties it all together. Then I like to take a little bit of this and I pinch my brush at the end so that it gets thinner. And I put a little bit on my nose just to brighten it up a bit. And then I like to put a little bit above my eyebrow just to give my skin a little bit more of a dewy finish after mattifying it with all that powder. I put it right above the eyebrow and then I just make sure it's really blended out nice. I can't stand when you can see streaks of highlight all over the place so make sure that's nice and blended. Next we're going to move on to the lips. I am using this Bella Pierre Cosmetics Gel Lip Liner in the color O2 Nude. Now I'm going to go in with one of the Melted Too Faced lipsticks and this is in the color Melted Fig. And I like to just apply this directly to the lips. I personally really like the doe foot applicator that comes on these. So typically this is where I finish off. Um, I wanted to add in as well though that I like to use this facial spray. It has aloe and rose in it. And I use this throughout the day. It's my favorite thing. It really rehydrates my skin. So throughout the day I see my skin because I'm really, really dry. I can see it's looking a little bit dull and it just kind of looks blah. So throughout the day I like to spray this on my skin. I actually carry around this little travel size container and I just pour some of this in there so I don't have to carry the big container with me. But throughout the day, I'd say two or three times a day, I just refresh my skin with this and it's amazing. Um, it's really, really hydrating and it doesn't mess your makeup up at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that into this, but typically I wouldn't do it right after. I would probably do it in the afternoon when I'm starting to feel a little bit um, dehydrated and a little bit blah at work. So this helps just wake me up and refresh my skin. So this look is now complete. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this. And uh, definitely don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. That really, really helps me out a lot. And um, if you have any suggestions for any videos that you'd like to see, I'm super open to that. So please comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Bye.